As a lighting designer, our process for production starts months in advance. From the get-go, you're kind of all in communication with each other design department-wise. Theater is, when it comes down to it, a collaborative art. You know, you're not putting up a painting that you did completely by yourself. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a part of a whole. So that can really build a lot of complexity and a lot of interest in whatever story you're going to tell because you get all those different perspectives. It's much more interesting when it's coming from everyone's point of view. Texas State has one of, if not the best, musical theater program in the country. Uh, it's just a really, really fantastic musical theater program and the theater spaces and everything is, is really top notch. So this is our main stage space. This is the one that is in the moat. It's in the, the red brick building. This space is really good for learning what it's like to work in a theater because you get to do some problem solving. I think you, you learn a lot more when something breaks because having to learn how to fix it. And then professionally, you know you're gonna be doing that all the time. Theaters are really finicky, funny little spaces and not a single theater is built the same as another one. Lighting itself is such a strange medium to work in. <laughs> and that makes it really, really fun because it's not something you can like hold. It's not something really tangible. Like the, the design aspect of the feeling you get when you see a certain color or a texture, how it plays with somebody when they're moving, those things are are really unique to, to art. And it's really inspiring when a director's like, can I have this in a different color and come, maybe can it just be a little, come from a different spot, you know? And you're, you're able to, fidget something around and then it clicks and everyone in the room is suddenly like, oh, okay, this is this is the right world. This is where we are, you know? Something about this program that I really enjoy is that you're able to try pretty much everything that you want to try. And for me, I know that I get a lot of inspiration knowing about the other aspects, other departments. So I knew that I wanted to take costuming, you know, and I wanted to take scenic painting and like learn all these other little things. And that always helped me just knowing how those things are influenced by what I do. For me personally, I don't learn unless I can get my hands on something. So like learning how to wire things, you know, learning how to really focus a light and like really make sure everything is locked down. And luckily with this program, you know, you get those BFA hours where you're coming in and you basically do that work for a few hours every week. Design wise, you get a lot of really cool instruction in the classroom that you can't really apply quite yet. Luckily I had that experience where I got to, you know, design my my own show um, as an undergraduate and I got to be there and be like oh okay this is what it's like to be the person that has to decide how this is going to work and so if you're coming in to lighting design and you're just kind of intrigued by it start opening your eyes to everything not just like in a theater you see like sunlight on the pavement like and you think that's a certain color but if you like really look at it that's not a color and like think about how you would emulate that you know like if you were trying to recreate it thinking about things that way is really it's a fun little exercise to do for yourself when you're just walking about and, and noticing things about the world around you. I think that's quite important.